So I haven't been this excited in a very long time. I've been doing various forms of movement. Um, as you know, Pilates was a huge part of my practice, as well as my yoga and, of course, physical therapy. I recently found bar, but uh, the bar wasn't very practical for my facility. So um, because I have a lot of patients that I see who uh, routinely have poor balances, I'm super excited about aerial. This has been um, probably super excited because this is something that I saw about 10 years ago, and I... Want, knew that I wanted to do this, but I just didn't know how. But more recently, I found this trapeze, and I felt like this is a, the best marry or marriage between the Pilates, yoga, physical therapy, as well as the bar, because we don't need the bar. It's a suspension um, system to where I can really train my patients on their proprioception and balance, as well as stability and posture and alignment, and be really, really precise with it. And I can really open them up posturally in ways I can't otherwise safely. So I just wanted to share a little bit with you. I'm just going to do a bar um, sequence. Place your right foot in front, left foot back, kind of in a bar position. And then go down a little bit and back up and squeeze those inner thighs. And inhale and exhale, exhale squeeze back up. And we're going to do... Five more, four, lots of core, lots of thighs, lots of hips. I love it because the isometric contractions, the tiny contractions around the hip joints really helps me stabilize. Sorry, that was more than five. We're going to switch the exact opposite position. So left foot forward, heels up high, and bend and straighten, really squeezing those inner thighs together. With me seeing women's health patients with pelvic floor dysfunction, this really helps to really retrain the pelvic floor muscles as well. And up, down, and up, and down, and up. And then I'm gonna stand side by side. You might get tired, so you might wanna walk them out. Make a Pilates V and raise your heels up high, and then bend down into a plie and up. Inhale and exhale. And then you can gradually let go of the amount of um, assistance that you use from the trapeze, and then start to use more of your leg muscles. You guys, I am so sore in my hips. It's unbelievable. I've been super duper excited to incorporate this in my practice and back down and then standing nice and tall and you guys know if you've worked with me I'm really particular about the balance standing nice and tall lift your right leg up 90 degrees and then tiny little pulses two three four five six seven and eight and down and then we're going to go back and lift back, really open that chest, engage the core, drawing the rib cages down, not letting them flare, lifting up tiny little bit, really working our gluteal muscles and getting that lift in our bums um, without relying on our Lululemon pants. Three, two, and one. It's unbelievable how those tiny movements does a number on the muscles. So we're going to go up with the left. Most of you can't do this without holding on to something. And to hold on to something that's not stable, it moves, right? So it really requires you, your muscles, to really use its balance and proprioception in ways that you're not able to otherwise. And we're not talking about the aerial where you have to assume that there's certain level of dynamic stability involved, but this is where I just get super excited as a physical therapist, and more importantly, knowing the dysfunctions in a yoga class, typical yoga class, that there isn't you know, enough attention being paid to the malalignments and to be able to see them in their sixth and, de sixth, sixth and seventh decade with very um, damaged joints is not fun for me. So this is something that I wanna personally do to preserve my body and my joints, as well as to help you do the same. So we've done a lot of that. So let's just kind of, this is what I'm really um, excited about. 
So what I want you to do, or what I'm going to do, is tie this up. And I'm going to just walk my hands back, or walk my uh, feet forward, and really lean back to open up my chest. And boy, does this feel so good. And I can go side to side to really stretch the QL, the quadratus lumborum that often gets tight, and then therapeutically go round and round to stretch all the areas in our lumbopelvic region. And the important thing is, because I'm cradled in this aerial, I'm able to hold my proper core engagement all at the same time. So it's just really fun. And then I'm just going to kind of rock forward and stretch, bend your knees a little bit and stretch responsibly. And then pull back and go forward and stretch those shoulders and back. And come forward and back. All right, lastly, <laughs> I was having fun with this the other day. Can't wait to get my patients on some of these. I'm going to, if you don't have the flexibility, you can use the lower, so there's a lot of room um, for flexibility. But because I'm so flexy-flexy, I'm going to place my left foot back up there. This is sort of like warrior or the crescent lunge or the warrior two to gain that, gain that um, hip flexibility that we need. But not only that, to responsibly open up our chest, the thoracic spine, and then lower down and really stretch into that left hip without compromising the pelvic alignment. Huge for me. And then... <laughs> If my patient is in this position, I can also dynamically stabilize as well as utilize some contract relax techniques that I use on a regular basis in physical therapy to kind of enhance their level of flexibility and dynamic stability. So leaning back, again, I'm able to keep my pelvis square and I can help my patients do the same. So now it really um, allows my patients to be able to control their lumbopelvic alignment and utilize them and really learn how to kind of keep them in its rightful place in alignment so that they prevent wear and tear, unnecessary wear and tear into their joints. Because you've got resistance and you've got assistance to go into postures that you never could before. But now we've got the trapeze to help us do it. So um, we'll tune in more. I'll share a little bit more. We haven't quite um, gotten the program ready yet, but we're working round the clock to get this um, out for you or with the program for you. So until next time. <laughs>